Stay tuned for comments after the video. The Disney Channel. Exercise next on the Disney Channel. In this video, we watched the opening to Good Morning Mickey as it aired on the Disney Channel in 1983, along with a few scenes and the end credits. In the video, we also saw some of the bumpers and IDs used by the Disney Channel during its first year of operation in 1983. Good Morning Mickey was one of the launch programs on the Disney Channel, meaning it was one of the programs that aired on the channel when it began. In fact, it was the very first program to ever air on the Disney Channel when it launched on April 18, 1983. Good Morning Mickey was one of those Disney programs that presented compilations of cartoon shorts. The bulk of the shorts starred Mickey Mouse, but the show also ran shorts featuring other Disney characters like Donald Duck and Goofy. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know I'm not the biggest fan of these types of programs. 
But I understand why Disney did it, and I actually think it made a lot of sense in this case. Disney was launching a new cable channel, the Disney Channel, and they needed content. And with hundreds of cartoon shorts, that was the logical place to go. Also, Disney cartoon shorts didn't regularly appear on network TV or in syndication. There were a few times they popped up on The Wonderful World of Disney or in a few syndicated shows, but they were in no way as prevalent as Bugs Bunny or Warner Brothers Looney Tune cartoon shorts. Disney cartoon shorts were rare, and what better to have on your new cable channel than something no one else could get anywhere else? People forget, but in the beginning, and for over a decade, the Disney Channel was a pay channel just like HBO or Cinemax, and the cost was very close to the same as those other pay cable channels. Giving customers exclusive content was often key to those channels' success in retaining paying customers. The Disney Channel in 1983 had two cartoon compilation shows like this, Good Morning Mickey and Donald Duck Presents, but Donald Duck Presents was different in a very big way, and we'll look at that in another video. Good Morning Mickey had an initial run of two seasons, producing a total of 80 episodes. Each episode was around 22 minutes long and had about four cartoon shorts or segments of longer shorts. If you do the math, that's over 300 cartoon segments that were presented on Good Morning Mickey over all of the episodes. The Disney Channel aired Good Morning Mickey for nine years until it was replaced by Mickey Mouse Tracks in 1992. For what it was, I think it was a fine show. It was really designed to appeal to kids in the morning, and what kid doesn't like cartoons? It's interesting that Disney put the episodes together like a regular show, each consisting of 22 minutes, allowing for commercials. But the Disney Channel didn't have commercials, and that feature of the channel was even written into cable contracts the channel signed with providers. So why did they do it this way? Maybe they wanted a commercially viable show just in case the Disney Channel failed. Or maybe that's just the way they did things back then. We don't really know why, but it is interesting. Well, those are my comments for this video. If you like these retro videos, please subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up, click the notification bell, and leave a comment. All these things really help the channel. Keep watching for more retro videos like this and other retro-themed videos like Retro Talk. Take care of yourself and look out for others. Talk to you later. Bye. This video brought to you by Stockagogo.com, Stock Photos.